So this is my solar point setup. So I set this up in October 2020 during lockdown. Uh, I used to work at a WISP and we used to do quite a few remote solar deployments like this. So with like a Ubiquiti uh, wireless radio, like a nanobeam um, in remote locations in the middle of the countryside where we had no power. Um, so we had a couple of these when I used to work at the WISP. And I was just fascinated to see how it worked. That's the reason why I set this up. Um, so what we've got here is a Renogy 100 watt solar panel. Uh, it's about £100 off Amazon. Um, and also got the official Renogy um, bracket stand for it. I know the cables are quite a mess. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to tidy this up. Um, it, it works. Uh, well, it stopped working at the moment. So this video is going to be looking at how I repair this. Um, get it tied a bit tidied up because it's actually stopped charging. So a few days ago, uh, I realized that the device had been offline for about two weeks. Uh, so I popped down here when it was light because the evenings are getting quite dark now. Um, and I realized some of the battery cables had been mangled. So uh, under here, I've got a, a battery box. It's just a, just a plastic box with some concrete on top to stop it from blowing away. But under here, I've got two 12 volt Halfords batteries. Um, so Halfords are a car supply shop in the UK, um, a relatively quite a good price. Did some battery tests and they are still 12 volts each, which is perfect. Um, but some of the some of the battery cables are a bit a bit uh, corroded and look like some rodents have chewed them, to be honest. Um, so before we get into looking how to fix it, um, we'll have a quick look at what we've got. We've got the solar point charger that's connected out to my Hostify UISP controller. So on there I can see how much charge we've got left. Um, it'll tell you, well, it doesn't always work, but what the weather, the weather status is and how much charge you can expect. Um, so on there, we've got four ports. Uh, we'll have a quick look underneath now. So now with the cover open, you can see underneath we've got, uh, we've got four Ethernet ports. So they're all 24 volt passive. You can lo log into the GUI and, and set the voltage. You've got the positive um, connection to the PV panel, the negative connection to the PV panel, and then you've got the battery connectors. So you can see that the little ferrule clips. So we've got positive, two negatives, and then NTC as well. Uh, the NTC thermostat. Well, it's one negative, one positive, and then two for the um, the thermostat. There's also a connector there for 12 volt DC out, which I'm not using. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's all weatherproof. There's a few bits of dirt in there. Um, so that goes up to a 24 volt nanobeam AC over to a building I've got on the farm. Uh, AC mesh, this is one of the only uh, Unify APs which can take dual input, uh, so 24 volt and uh, active PoE, so AFAT. And then I've got a G3 bullet as well, again one of the one of the originals at uh, 24 volt passive. So this is in an orchard and we can sometimes see some wildlife which is quite interesting, uh, like deers and, and birds and things. Um, but yeah, it's, it is a little bit of a mess. Um, the problem when I installed it was this bit of wood. Um, the the brackets here uh, were too large. Um, they wouldn't connect, they wouldn't grip the, the pole properly, so hence a bit of wood to make it a bit thicker. Uh, it has blown off a few times in the in the um, in the storms and and things, um, but it's it's pretty stable. Uh, there's a concrete hole in the ground. Um, so yeah, we, at the moment uh, there's some damage on the connectors, so. We'll, uh, we'll have a look and see what's going on. So it's now a few days later. It's not such a nice day, um, but I had to wait for some parts to arrive. So the main problem with this I discovered was this lead here. So this lead was going from the negative side on this battery to the positive side on this battery to make a parallel or series. I can't quite remember the name. Um, so I had to double the voltage from 12 volts to 24 volts. This is what I found. Uh, this cable is completely mangled. Uh, I think it's rodents chewing it. Uh, as I dug into the cables, which are a bit of a mess, uh, there's some other chewing there. So I've got to replace this lead here. Uh, it's got these connectors on for the batteries. So I'll do that first. Uh, and the other problem is these leads down here. So I did find one or two of these leads that have been chewed. If I can find it again. Yeah, so this one. This, this lead here, uh, I think that's actually just dirt. Uh, there we go. So all the wires are exposed on that one. I think that one 
is one of the ones for the thermistor, which is probably why it isn't charging. So I've got to replace. So this positive leads it looks like it's okay. No, that one's all right, I think. Uh, but I've got to at least replace two of the of the negative wires because that one is completely gone as well. Uh, so I've got to replace that one, that lead, and one of these as well. So that's the next job. I've got some parts. So I've got some ferrule connectors. Got some crimps, got some ferrule connectors, so I'll give that a go and replace some of the leads. Uh, we're also going to replace these terminals. I bought some brand new ones because these are rusty as anything. Um, these aren't, aren't going to be working at all, I don't think. So, actually, I might I might just replace all of the all of these 14 gauge wires because uh, all a bit a bit sad um, and give things a bit of a tidy up because it is a bit of a mess. So, I'll come back when that's done. So just out of interest, this is this is the battery connector that comes out the solar point. So it plugs into the batteries thing there. Uh, so all of these separate leads going down to the batteries. Um, these are a bit mangled, I think. I wasn't entirely sure when I did these how to connect the ferrule connectors. So I've actually got the correct crimps now. Because um, that first one those looks like it's been mangled. And that's my dodgy learning experience trying to learn how to do battery connectors. But we live and we learn. So part one is finished. Uh, we've got the positive connection for the battery coming all the way down into this one. So I've got a small washer, uh, a small washer, and it's sort of strapped in with two uh, washers. Uh, it's two bolts. So the next job is to connect up the NTC connector and do a bridge a bridge connector between positive on this battery and negative on this battery to make it 24 volts. So I've just put in the negative side of the battery. That comes all the way down to the second battery. So positive is going up to the solar point. And on the second battery, we've now got the negative connection. So that's doing 12 volts. And now I've got to put the jumper lead in, eight gauge wire uh, between these two. So I'm going to do that now. So as you can see now, I've put the eight gauge wire in place between negative on the first one and positive on the second one. Um, so what I've got to do now is hook up the thermistor so the thermistor is this little connector thing that goes on the negative side of the second battery and this this makes sure that the device can charge so you just put a two wires up to the solar point into the third and fourth port on the battery connector and then that should be good to go so i'll just plug the power in for the solar point and it's just booted up i realized i made a, a stupid mistake it is quite cold out and uh, my brain's not working properly um, so what I had done is I had wired up the, neg the positive to the negative side and was running why it didn't turn on. Oh, so what we've done is replaced all the leads up to the solar points. Everything's plugged in correctly. Um, it doesn't make much difference, but it's a, it's a visual thing. But the the connectors go into the NTC are supposed to be both negative, but I run out of negative wires, so I just use positive wire. I know it's just red and blue. Oh, sorry, red and black. That's all fine. So that should be now charging. <laughs> Um, so we've got this 8 gauge wire between the two. Uh, we've got all these stupid bolts with these blue Loctite things. I think they're rubbish, so I have to get some different ones. Uh, they don't go far enough in. Um, this is all working as it should, which is really good. So I think everything's nice and tight. Everything is working. So that's really good. So I'm going to do some tidying up now. Uh, these Ethernet cables are a complete joke. Um, so I'm going to tie that up and then come back. Uh, it's not a very bright day out today in the UK. Um, panels all connected. Devices are, will power up at some point. Solar points online again, which is good. The blue lights, it was flashing beforehand. Cables are tidyish. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, tidy as they can be with cable ties. I'm just going to come back and tidy up this loose uh, battery wiring as well. Uh, run out of cable ties at the moment. I've got this uh, green fencing as well to keep uh, wildlife out from chewing all the cables. Yeah, uh, pretty much done. Um, got the battery box to put back on the on the lid. Yeah, pretty good. So as I've just gone to pack up and put my stuff away, I keep noticing that the solar point is rebooting. Um, I really think it's to do with the voltage. The batteries haven't been charged in two weeks. It's been quite cold in the UK. So I think the fact that it's powering, which it is enough, that's a good sign. It's just not very bright. So I think well, if it's sunny again in the week, I think I'll be fine, so that's good. Cool, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, you can 
have a look at Hostify.com for more information about Hostify. You can contact the team at support at Hostify.com and you can follow us on Twitter at Hostify underscore net. If you like this sort of video, hit subscribe and we have more Ubiquity content coming very soon. Okay, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.